Team Walls, Wicked in the West End, and Professor Sprout and Harry Potter, please welcome the magical Miriam Margulies! Woo! Oh, come here. Shrek the Third, it's Vince Charming himself, Rupert Everett, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh. I'm so glad my feet touched the ground. They usually do. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last time um, we met each other, uh, we went to see uh, the Queen of Country, went to see lovely Dolly Parton. Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> and we, we got to meet her, sort of. A sort of meeting, meet and greet. We had to queue for about half, well, 45 it was, minutes. It was a long time. In a tunnel, you know. <laughs> and I'd been dying to go to the lavatory for ages. <laughs> so I farted and. Um... <laughs> no, no. Well, Mir uh, Miriam understates what she did. <laughs> I was irritated, you know. <laughs> but she goes, we're standing in the queue and there's like nice people here all coming with their dolly pins. And she suddenly goes, balls for fart! And it was the loudest fart <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> well, I fart a lot. I think I just like that. But I don't know why, but I think it brings people together. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's an encouraging human thing to do. We all do it. Yeah, we all do it, you know. Because so... you're... Is it a... What's the thing you're having done? Is it a, a, col, a colon... I've had oh, it yes. done. Oh, you've had it yeah, done? No, actually, this is... Um, it's a sort of party political broadcast. It's on behalf of, of uh, colonoscopies. Because it's a wonderful way of checking what you've been eating. And, uh, and the, the harm it does to you, but... <laughs> it, it means you to check it as it goes in. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do to get to see it? Well, what happens is you lie on your side and the doctor puts um, a lot of tubing up into your arsehole and... Um, <laughs> and, um, and then it all sort of comes out and he looks at it all the way up and you know and it's really worth having done so please please do it have you done it no but you're meant to a guy's meant to do it by 35 40 apparently i don't know why guys should be different <laughs> assholes are assholes <laughs> yeah. you were interested in art as were you a teenager when you you worked as a, a life model when i was at school i earned some money as a nude model and um, I wrote to Augustus John, who was a very great painter that I saw on television being interviewed. And um, I offered myself as a model to him. And for some reason, my parents allowed me to do it. I don't know, I don't know why. So they and sent you packing off to Augustus John's house by yes, yourself? They, no, they took me there and dropped Where me at the it? door in uh, Fordingbridge in Hampshire. Mm. So I just, I just had a pair of knickers and a top and you know, my school uniform, I think, or something like that. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> what were your parents thinking? I don't know, because they were very respectable, believe me. And I... Uh, Augustus John, then, was about 80... 87 or 88, I think. And it's not often that an 88-year-old will see a nude girl of 17, you know, in his own home. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, um, come in, come in, come in. He's a great big fellow in a boiler suit. And, um, <laughs> he really did. And, uh, I see your parents driving away. They left me. <laughs> they went. And he said, right here, take off your clothes. And so I did, quite quickly and decorously. And, uh, and then, that, this was the bit that was a bit unexpected, he looked at me, sort of smoothing his beard. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um, <laughs> and then he said, climb that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't normally climb ladders clothed, <laughs> never mind the ladder clothed, but Anyway, I sort of got up, went up the ladder and... Well, not much you could do on the ladder, you know. <laughs> sort of one, one foot on one rung and 
the other foot on the other rungs. I was a bit spread out, you know. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> And he drew me, and and then I came down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Because you've done loads of them. You've done, what, you were in Babe, you were the mother in Babe, the dog mother. I was in Happy Feet. Who were you in Happy I Feet? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> was I Tamara? Did you play a penguin? <laughs> I don't know, I never saw it, you see. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was all, everyone was a penguin. Well, every, everybody everyone was a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do much research for your parents. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> you, you forgot to sound cold. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me that when I was... <laughs> You thought all that flapping was psychological. Yeah. <laughs> and I did flushed away. Oh yes, yes, yes. Who were you flushed away? I was don't I don't know. know what I was in there. That, that was a great flushed away there. A piece of shit, I should think. <laughs> Talking of that, talking of that, uh, tell us the story about uh, when you, were, uh, you went to Martin Jarvis's house. Oh, it's house. so embarrassing. That I, I hope this is not going to offend people. Actually, I hope it is, but... <laughs> but um, I, I know it sounds as if I just talk about nothing but shit, but I was dying to go to the lavatory. <laughs> and I was, I was invited to uh, an, a lovely dinner party in Los Angeles, and it was Martin Jarvis, who's a dear friend, and his wife, the hosts, and um, Richard Harris's son, Jared, was there, whom I've not met before, and, and was rather key. Nice. And he's lovely, and I was very excited about that. And so, you know, when I arrived, I said to Roz, uh, Martin's wife, Roz, I'm dying to go to the lavatory. Can I go first, you know, and, and then I'll <laughs> join the group, so to speak. So I flew into the loo, and I had this enormous shit, you know. <laughs> and, um, You know, then I flush the loo and wash my hands, and it didn't go down. <laughs> it didn't go down. It wasn't going down. And and then I made this terrible mistake. I flushed the loo again, and it not only didn't it go down, it sort of bubbled up to meet me. You know? <laughs> It was just... It was a horrific... I mean, it didn't... What I was afraid of was that it would surge over the bowl. <laughs> and, you know... And surge <laughs> away. <laughs> Here's but, him now. <laughs> so, but the thing is, I'm such a coward, I didn't know what to do, so I backed out of the loo, closed the door, and I went in... And instead of saying, you know, how do you do, it's lovely to meet you, I've always wanted to meet you, and all that sort of thing, I said, I've... Block the loo with my shit, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that was my introduction to Garrett. It's 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 been fun. It's very, the breasts are very heavy. I have two seven-pound breasts, they and I must heavy, say, actually. and even court shoes. Uh, you know, you got your, everything goes wrong in your back, and I and my back. I put my back completely out. But you're in high heels most of the time. Well, sensible heels. A Camilla heel. <laughs> sensible heels. Yes. But I got marvelous breasts. They, 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 uh, they, ha they, they hide under my arms very nicely, <laughs> and they're very low and marvellous. So they're beautiful. <laughs> it's a hidden world to me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>